Okay, welcome back to the Dublin Academy. Maths. Now, this is series two, episode one, and we're still on paper one. Okay, because there's about, there's six, six or seven series, depends how we go. Now, we're doing functions. This is paper one. They are parts of questions two, six, and sometimes the whole of, paper, of question eight. Right? Now, remember, no fear. Accept your honor errors and practice 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 practice. That means do these questions. Okay, I've got some questions here and I'll get back to them. I don't want to confuse you. Now the first question, the question here in blue I'm going to do, and it says f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 11 x squared plus 4x minus 5. And it says verify that f of minus 1 is equal to 0. Now uh, you remember uh, when we went and we did um, we did uh, factors of uh, cubic equations, for example. Do you remember? And we did qu uh, quadratic equations. Sorry, plus two, plus one. What are the factors of two when added? Will give me plus three. The coefficient of the middle term. And we got out these factors, and then we went and we got roots. We made little equations out of them. X plus two is equal to zero, and we solved them. X is equal to minus one, or x is equal to minus two. Now, if we put minus 1 in for this equation, or minus 2, but we must put each one of them in separately, because x is equal to minus 1 plus 2, you will find that, um, that they will equal to 0. Okay. Okay, there we are, 1. Alright, so. so it becomes 1, 1 minus 1 squared is plus 1, uh, minus 3 plus 2, or minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Now the same property also applies when you're dealing with these large quadratic cubic equations. Okay, now a cubic equation is something that cuts the x and y axis at three points. Okay, now from this, they now they can determine a lot of things. Okay, but remember along that line, y is equal to zero, and along this uh, axis, x is equal to zero. This is the y axis. But if you read along from the x, you will see that along that line y, um, x is equal to zero. And similar, y is equal to zero. So when you're solving equations, you're saying, solve the equation when f, f of x is equal to zero. Okay, so it says, um, okay, so you would solve it if you make the cubic equation or the quadratic equation equal to zero, and you can find the values for, 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 for x along the, along the line. And let's keep repeating the same process applies here. So, it says, says let um, f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 11x squared plus 4x minus 5. 1. I think this is uh, 2010. I'm not quite sure here. I'll get back to it on that one. Verify that f of minus 1 is equal to 0. That means if you put the factor f of minus, wherever you see minus 1, x, you put in minus 1. Okay, and then it says solve the equation. So I've got a fact, I've got a root. Well it says that prove it, verify or prove it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in f of minus one into the equation and I'll see if it proves that it is a root. And if it's a root, I'll be able to get back to the factors. Okay, so I'm gonna put in minus one, minus five is equal to zero. Now you have to be very careful when you're doing this. Minus 1 to be cubed is minus 1, minus 1 by minus 1. Minus by minus is a plus. 1 by 1, it's all going to be 1. Minus 1 by plus 1 is minus 1. So if it's an uneven power, it's a minus. Okay? So it's 2 times minus 1. Plus 11 times minus 1 to be squared is plus 1. Plus 4 times minus 1 is minus 4 minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so we're multiplying this out. 2 times, this is sorry, is, is the function f of x. Um, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 11 minus 9 is equal to 0. Is it? Yes, it does go in. It does. Okay, because minus 2 minus 9 is minus 11. 11 plus minus 11 is 0. Okay. So, now I have proved. Now, how do I find... So, if x is equal to... is a solution, x equal to minus 1 is a root. If I bring it back, as I do, 
x plus 1 is equal to a factor. Do you understand? Okay? Is a factor. We did this before, finding the roots, bringing them back, finding the, the factors from the roots. Given the factors, finding the roots. Okay, so I'm going to divide x plus 1 into the top cubic equation. Now why am I doing that? Because if I have a factor of something, and I've proved it's a factor, I can find other factors by dividing in. So if I divide 7 into, if I know 7 is a factor of 14 and divide 7 into 14 comes out twice, I know that 2 is also a factor, evenly, okay? There's no remainder, there's no decimal points, okay? That's the remainder theorem. So, looking at this, now this is a division again. What x goes into 2x cubed, how many times? 2x squared. What happened there? What do I need to multiply x by to get 2x cubed? x by 2x squared maybe, do it out if you can't do it out, if you if you can't get it mentally, is equal to 2x cubed. This is what I want, okay? Because it leads to cancellation. So I multiply again, the top by the divisor. 2x squared by x is 2x cubed, what I'm looking for. 2x squared by 1 is 2x squared. I change the signs, okay? You always change the signs, that's my plus becomes a minus. That plus becomes a minus. Now they could change, that could be a minus. You, do, you change the sign on the individual. So there could be a mixture of signs here, okay? They cancel, I got minus 2x squared plus 11x squared is 9x squared. Bring down the 4x. And continuing. x goes into 9x squared, how many times? It goes in 9x times. Okay, let's look at that. Minus 2x squared from that, yeah, 9x squared. So 9x by, 9x by x is 9x squared. 9x by plus 1 is plus 9x. Okay. Now I change the sign. This becomes a minus. This becomes a minus. And they cancel. And I'm left with minus 5x. Now where do you get that? 5x takes the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. And you're left with minus 5x, bring down the minus 5. Let's start it again. x goes into minus 5x how many times? Don't say minus, it's minus 5 times. It's not plus because I need to get the minus here. Okay? Be very wary of that. Okay? So minus 5 by x is minus 5x. Minus 5 by plus 1 is minus 5. I change the sign and it becomes plus. This becomes a plus and they both cancel. Okay? Now I'm going to do another one in a while, but let's get back to that. So what I'm saying here is that this, there's no remainder. So I mean it goes in evenly. This goes into this evenly this many times. So if I multiply that by that, I should get that. Okay, so that's what it is. So the factors are uh, x plus 1 by 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. Okay, now the problem is this is a quadratic. And I need to find the factors of this quadratic. It's 2x by x because I'm factorizing it. And you know this because you've done so many equations in this. So I'm looking for plus 9. I know the factors are minus 5. What's the factors of minus 5? 1 by minus 5, minus 1 by 5. I'm looking at a plus 9 here. So I need a plus 5. 2x by plus 5, minus 1x, minus 1, pardon, minus 1. Okay? Do the answer, just check it there. Minus 2x, mi minus x, minus 10x, uh, plus 10x, difference is 9x. Yes, it's the coefficient of the middle term. Right, so they're the factors. But the, it says solve. So the solve means find the roots. Okay, so I have to do them all in the individual uh, equations. Equals to zero. 2x minus one is equal to zero x plus 5 is equal to 0 and I solve them so x is equal to minus 1 2x is equal to a half 1 pardon, and x is equal to a half I'm jumping the gun here x is equal to minus 5 so there are your solutions verify so there are your solutions there 
that's where it is solved. So you would go back and you'd say then the, the solutions are, or the question was put is find the solutions of. So you go x is equal to minus 1, minus 5 and a half. Okay, and there are your solutions. Right? Very good. Let's do another one. Um, I might have another. Okay, so there's 2x cubed. Now I'm going to do this pretty fast, but you will get the hang of it. It says this is 3c 2010. Okay, so that one previous was not 2010. So we'll be near it. And it says that's what f of x is. And it says find f of 1. Okay, find the factors. Oh, says find the factors of this and it says uh, have we just done this there we have it. no and so what what I have to do is it says find find the factors it's the same thing find the factors and solve it could say evaluate prove that some okay but anyway so I find the factors so I'm going to try it's called trial and error I'm going to try f of 1. Now I'm going to look at it. Now look at 1. If I put 1 in there, 1 cubed is 1, 2 ones are 2, 1 squared is 1, 3 plus 6 is 9. It doesn't work out. Okay, so 1 is not going to work for me here. And I do, and I can try minus 1. Minus 1 will not give me the same answer. It's too far away. Then I go into the plus 2 and I try the 2 and I will see if the 2 works. And you're looking at it and you're saying you're already multiplying this out because you're doing the work. 2 cubed is 8. 2 eighths are 16. 2 squared is 4. 2 by minus 13, 26. Plus 6. Does it equal to 0? Yes, it does equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 2 is a root. Which means this implies that x minus 2 is a factor. And how do I find the other factors? I need to divide this into, because it's a factor. I've proved it by showing it's a, it's a root. And finding the other factors. Okay, so x minus two into that. So we put in x minus two, x minus two, into it again. Not into it again, but into it. So I got two x cubed. Just check that, see that's right, two x squared. Minus 13x plus 6 squared. Now, so x goes into 2x cubed how many times? What do I need to multiply x by to get 2x cubed? I need to multiply by 2x squared. 2x squared by x is 2x cubed. 2x squared by minus 2 is minus 4x squared. Now, this is the point where we kind of make our problems for each other. Okay, so changing the sign. This becomes a minus. This becomes a plus. So now we have mixtures here now. So okay, so this is what's going to happen. Cancels, it doesn't change anything. Plus 4x squared plus x squared is 5x squared plus 5x squared. Bring down the minus 13. Minus 13x. X goes into 5x squared many times. What do I need to multiply x by to get 5x squared? 5x times. 5x by x is 5x squared. 5x by minus 2 is minus 10x. Okay, that looks okay. Change the sign, minus, this becomes a plus. So it's a mixture again. It's to, continues being a mixture. Minus 3x. Bring down the plus 6. What by x will give me minus 3? Minus 3x, pardon. What by x? What Multiply by x will give me minus 3x, minus 3. Minus 3 by x is minus 3x. Minus 3 by minus 2 is plus 6. Change the sign. And they cancel. 0 plus 6 minus 6 is 0. Minus 3x plus 3x is 0. Okay, so they cancel. So there you have your factors. And you do it again. You get out your factors again. And you've got factors are x minus 2 
by 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. As we said before, when we have factors, factors of 14, when we multiply them, they should give me back to 14. Either way, okay? Right? So this is too high, isn't it again? So I'm looking at uh, the factors of this, x minus 2 by 2x by x. So I'm looking at factors of minus 3. What's the factors of minus 3? 1 by minus 3, minus 1 by 3. And I'm looking at plus 5 here, so I'm looking at the plus factors because I want to make it plus 6. You see? See what I'm getting at here? Okay, so that will be minus 1. Now, and then we make the, and it's all equal to 0. Make sure everything is equal to 0. And so we make little equations, x minus 2 is equal to 0, or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, or x plus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, and we solve them. x is equal to 2, 2x is equal to 1, x is equal to half, or x is equal to minus 3. Okay, I think I've done the same question again. I couldn't believe it. Okay. No. Okay, so there you go. So you have the you have the values of x. X I have three minus three and two. Okay, now that's all pretty. This is this functions. What is functions about? Well, briefly, you know, functions is um, is is a wave pattern like this. Okay, and those intersecting lines, um, where 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 are the values of x? And this is the value of y. Now also we also know this is a turning point. This is a maximum point. And this is also a minimum point, okay? And we're talking about here dy dx, okay? And we're all here we're calling the acceleration dy dx. Um, the minimum values and the maximum values of uh, the differentials. Now, from a lot of these things, these is all to do with slopes, intersect intersections. Um, how can I say, for example, this line is x equal to uh, 4? How can I solve this? Where well, can I find the point of intersection here? It's done through uh, uh, in simultaneous equations. Okay, so this is a lot to do with um, plotting graphs, you know, uh, plotting uh, anything really, you know, current waves. Um, you know, it's really, and, and, and in the end, they actually find, you know, with the unit circle, you can actually find, you know, area, area of a sector, area of a circle. The intersection between a line and a circle, they're all functions, okay? So you put in the value, you you put in the value and you should get out another value, a y value, or you put in a y value and you get out an x value. So it's how you interpret these questions, okay? And these are very a lot are, are used a lot in uh, in science in everyday in everyday uh, processes, but which I'm not going to get into, but use your imagination. Now remember, do these questions. Doing the questions guarantees success and it gets rid of all your fears. Take care.